What is up guys, Rex here with a new video and today with a guide for Relentless Rumble Stage 2. Already did a guide on Stage 1 if you're looking for that and uh, today they released the second stage with Igor as an enemy. And I have to say I was a bit afraid, I was thinking Igor, usually you like to use OD against it. It turns out that is not the solution at all. It's not the solution at all because what I forgot here is Igor as an enemy, he only is really strong when he uh, has his second tombstone which he gains at supreme plus and gets too old and gets to do some damage so that he can summon more tombstones those egors aren't um, supreme plus they only have a single tombstone so if you quickly hit them a lot they actually don't get to jump between tombstones so just taking uh, care of them quickly is actually the matter here um they have an ability again on endless which is called foresight so every second um ego that spawns has 1000 initial energy which means can instantly ult and the team that we have there will quite surprise you but nonetheless it is quite the flashy one so i would say we just take a look at it we have burial here we have cassidy and i think um Honestly, this might be the meta for more of those events of Rumble. If we get another one, it is. Um, because if you have many enemies uh, and you have a burial, you get a ton of burial summons. And that is really what we're doing here. We get a ton of Igor shadows from burial. We keep them alive with Smokey and uh, buff them up with Cassidy's uh, buff that allows them to basically target one enemy and let Cassidy then hit that enemy with Anato and her other abilities. So um, that actually allows us to have a ton of those Cassidy buffs on those heroes. And um, yeah, you can see once we have a reach a certain state, um, we really do a ton of damage with those Igors. And uh, that is really the key here. Um, we have a very bad run here, by the way. Um, you can always see it because Cassidy's movement is random. Um, she tries to target one of the Igors. Uh, if she's way to the back, it's usually not quite that great. You want to have her run further to the front, which is RNG. And sadly, this is also the game here. Um, it looks pretty fancy, but in the end, um, it comes down to a lot of RNG. Like, I think I had my best run. Uh, my best run was 51 kills, which should still be place 1. It is still place 1. You can see it is it is actually quite a good distance to strong players like Suns in Endgame. So it's a really good run. And uh, I had this best run that I had with the Tide Call spell. Um, we used Resonating here. You can try both. We can try Tide Call as well. Um, and then the next run, same setup, next run was uh, 36 kills. So substantially less and this is really the thing here there are so many things that can happen that influence your damage that influence how everything works maybe one of your igors is outside the range of your smoke and you can see this guy for example losing his hp slowly um if that happens and if you lose too many igors well they don't have enough to buff anymore with your cassidy meaning you will pr uh, pretty quickly or you will do less damage overall which means um, that you won't get the high score so what you really want to do is you just want to go in and do a ton of runs just do a ton of runs just start like 10 20 runs or something until you get a good score um, you have infinite runs here it costs you nothing um, you just have to hope and pray for the right rng um, really the further your cassidy moves towards the other side of the battlefield the better it is if she stands in the middle of the egos if you feel like okay she's really standing in the middle of the field here that's usually the best because um then she buffs the most of them and uh, you can keep up the buffs the easiest so um that is something to keep in mind um we will probably get 44 is that 44 no it's so 43 okay um the team itself I mean, it is quite demanding in a sense that you need Mikola, which I, some people don't have. I recommend it to get a single copy. If you got a single copy, you can use her here. That's okay. Um, would have been better to have a Supreme Plus, but single copy is actually okay. So that's something to keep in mind. If you don't have Lily May, easy replacement, actually. You can take Seth. If your Seth isn't super low, take a Seth. Seth works very well here. Some people even say he works better than Lily May, though I have yet to see somebody beat my score of 51. So I guess 
still the team is pretty much good. Um, if you don't have Cassidy, well, then this strat doesn't work and you have to go for something else. Same for Burial, if you don't have them, then we will go with another strat. What's the other strat? Well, the other strat means um, you don't go with Burial, you don't go with Cassidy. Well, you can go with Cassidy, still a right hero. Um, and you focus more on something like OD, you focus more on something like maybe Parisa. Um, you focus on heroes. Let that just deal good single targets. Lenya is okay. Shark here is okay. Um, stuff like this. That can work. And uh, it's really what you want to do then. Because then you don't really can um, make use or you can't really make use of this strategy. And you have to just go with, with just uh, regular damage. What I can tell you or have to tell you, I should say, um, that will mean that you won't get the high scores. Um, there, I haven't seen a run yet from somebody that didn't use this burial strategy um, and got a really good score. Like they got 30s, I saw 30s, uh, which are right. Some people use Talene. I don't like Talene in this because right now you saw it, there were no egos on the board anymore. Uh, she can't ult permanently in this fight. At least it is very, very rare. And uh, that means she won't do the damage that we are used to from the last fight. So uh, in that regard, she is not the perfect choice for this. OD was decent. You can probably as well use Skalita. So then just focus on, on some single target damage dealers. Put your Smokey in there so you have him. And uh, that, that will probably still give you a decent amount of points. And will be enough to at least complete this event and uh, get yourself ordered. So that is that is alright. And uh, Lily May, of course, is a great choice. Is a great choice. You saw it right there. Her dealing... Um, quickly with those enemies and if you are in the barrier strategy well then there are a few things that can actually help you there are a few upgrades that can actually help you though i would not advise just upgrading for the sake of doing more damage here okay that looked very fancy with the ego there um i was, was distracted there for a second um the things that can really help you in this and the upgrades that can help you are for once for cassidy um if we check that out for cassidy the uh upgrade to her weapon, to plus 15. Um, what that does is basically the hit that she provides through her Tidal Strength buff. The Tidal Strength buff works in the way that it's basically um, targeting enemies. And once she targets the enemies, she will hit them with her abilities. And the um, hero can do only do that, that is buffed with that, can only do that for a limited amount of attacks. And it gives you extra attacks. It gives you a ninth attack. And that can help because we don't get to buff every single one of our Igor shadows all the time. So having the buff be active a little bit longer is fairly helpful. Also, if you buff Cassidy, you also buff the damage um, that she deals through this buff. Um, other thing that we can do, um, and that is also quite interesting and uh, I haven't seen too much talk about yet. Um, there is an ability on uh, Burial's Mythic Plus um, that means that the Mythic Plus is, by the way, required. You can't just use uh, a normal Burial. You will need the Mythic Plus Burial at least to get the ability. Um, if you have him at plus 10, enemies lose 40, damage, uh, 40 energy when they receive damage from a silhouette. So that can actually help you um, reduce the energy from the Igors that spawn and uh, get the foresight buff so quickly that they might just not get too old. So that is something that can actually be very, very cool. And it's a very nice upgrade to this. So those two things are really probably the only things that you can really do. Um, if you have a great set, as I said, I used my Supreme uh, Plus set and it worked very, very well. As, uh, well, it was actually not too much worse than Lily May. I think I got a run. I got a 48. I got a 48, I believe it was. Um, with Seth, so was pretty decent. I saw 49 with Seth. Um, didn't see something 50 and above yet with Seth. Actually, didn't see anything 50 and above yet at all. It was, I just saw the only the, the two times I had this. I got a 50 and then I got a 51, and uh, that was really it. And I have to say, it depends on RNG. Like, um, if you want to test artifacts in this one, it's actually fairly, fairly difficult. Um, because you go in there, and I could I could put any artifact here on there. It really it really wouldn't change too much. We can use Star Shard. Um, and maybe you then see, okay, we, we only got a 34 there, because it's really not that great. Um, we got lower stats. Stats can, of course, make a difference. Um, but, but then you get, like, a great run with the most random artifacts. So um, it is really more about the position that Cassidy takes, the amount of Igors that survive, the amount of Igor copies that you get. Sometimes 
uh, I feel like the difference can even be in critting or non-critting and maybe then you get ne another ego copy and you have one more ego shadow on the board and it's, it, is, it, is, it is an insane amount of RNG. It is an insane amount of RNG and I think even if you have a team that, that isn't quite that optimal, um, you could, could still score great if you just get very great RNG. Um, with a barrier strategy, that is, if you have like an OD and uh, and go for like a regular damage strategy with the Brian in there, and then the RNG isn't quite that big, so uh, then then actually uh, your RNG is a little bit lower, then you have a bit of crit RNG, but not quite that summoning RNG, where you sometimes just visually already can assess that there are a lot more Igors uh, on the board that just currently get buffed, and you see it in the damage as well. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind. You can just see, okay, we got 38 here. That is actually too great of a run, but it's just like it's just not that devastatingly low. We got a 42 before. Difference is like three kills. That could be RNG, or we just got a great run. Who knows? So that is something to keep in mind. I will put you the team as I made it with like the the way that I think it works best. With watch, which, which was tight call spell. Try resonating, but tight call was the best for me. I will put you this exact formation down below with the code so that you can copy it. You can just put the code then in Resonating Hall, Formations, Add by ID, and add it there. And uh, then you will have the formation uh, as long as you have the heroes, of course. I hope this helped you. I wonder how far we are going to go on this, actually. I wonder if anybody's going to go ahead and maybe get a 60 or something. Um, I didn't continue here a lot, but some people beat me. We even got to 121 here. Zans got to 121. Pretty impressive. Um, I, I'm eager to see what you guys can do. Maybe write me your highest scores down below and what you did. And uh, with that, I wish you a great day. We'll see us in the next one.